religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Setting myself right out of the pool. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So that God that you all mean that you all need it. Make us believe. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Study myself right out of the pool. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So that God that you all mean that you all believe in. That you all mean Make us believe. Black atheist. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> Black sun in the hizzle. We're shizzle dizzle. Got my comrade <laughs> to the right of me. What's good? Black African power. A well-organized lie defeats a disorganized truth every time. So let's sit back and let's organize that truth. What's good, black son? What's good? And what's happening? How you enjoy that? Uh, event last week what was it called the what oh man the event last week was called um dj's event it was uh in sister and gozy it was called the um oh what was it called it black was, family homosexuality in the black family yeah the black the, family yeah, homosexuality and the effects in our neighborhood mm. and you had baba baruti you had uh oh man i can't believe i'm forgetting the names man you had some heavy hitters there and, and, uh, and sister wrote the book um What's the name of the book called? Uh, man. Dang, man, what we book? Man, we slipping today, man. We ain't yeah, slipping. Yeah. Mine right. somewhere else, yo. She wrote right. the book. I can't even think of the book she wrote, man. We just need a name, huh? It'll come to us through the ether Ooh, somewhere. Oh, man. All right. We, we going we gonna, to we gonna get that name for y'all. We But they were some heavy hitters. But the, but the speakers was powerful, though, right? You know, the speakers were powerful, but it was one brother from Chicago. He was like, yeah, you know, we do this, do that, and they the gays and throw them off the second window. And <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And yeah, yeah, rah, 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 rah. And we got to leave in the hands of God. Did he? Yeah, he did. Wow. I'm like, man, really? Was that the third speaker? That was a, he the, was or the like last one. The guy with the dress. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean the guy with the dress, but the guy, the Hebrew is like guy. The one, he was, he was third from the last. Marimba Annie, that's her name. Marimba Annie, yeah. Marimba right. Am, a, Annie. Annie. And they're going to have another event, too. So um, DJ and Gozy, we invite y'all on the show to promote that. So just let you we, know. We, we're going to be selling that tape, too. Absolutely. Oh, very, yeah. Very powerful tape. That's right. Um, turn out was fair. But I just want to call out the Shrine of Black Madonna, OK? Because they was on some bullships. Some bullships, right? OK. Right. All right. When they would not allow us to have the event there because it maybe was against their protocol. Like, really? Oh. So you don't want us to have a, an event, right, in a black-owned establishment based off of homosexuality in the black community. Hmm. So that sounds like to me you're in support of that then. Wow. It's very See? interesting, man. Right, because right, if you tell me, black son, man, I don't care what you do. You right. can sell drugs. You can have a boyfriend, I don't care. As long as you come on the show, I'm gonna look at you like, really? So you're not supporting that behavior? Really? Uh, really? Right. And so they could have put out a mission statement that the views and the opinions, right? Right. On ours. That's right, that's right. Okay. They could have put that out, but they didn't. They said no. Uh it's not really, really want to do that. And I mean, the speakers that were at the event, particularly the two elders, uh, Brother Baruti, he wrote uh, an excellent book, The Feminization of African Male. That's an right. excellent book. Absolutely. Scholarly work. Okay, remember Annie? She wrote the book, Urugu, uh, 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 authoritative work on uh, 
Europeans. Right. You know, get that book. These were the elders in our community, all right? And they was giving us a background history on homosexuality in Africa. You know, we done went through that already. That's right. Okay? And one fact that Brother Rudy brought out, he said in all the records that when the European colonists came to Africa and all they written documentation, nowhere did it say that African people practice homosexuality. Right, because I remember when uh, she made a very interesting point when they came and they were demonized, you know, they accused us of being uh, cannibals, accused right. us of all kinds, but they never accused us of being homosexuals. homosexuals. Never. So I thought that was very never. interesting. No, so we're going to put that yeah. out right now. So if you're making that nonsense up, you're making it up. You right. do not find homosexuality in traditional Africa. Okay, at least Europeans never documented that, and they would have documented right. that because the slave trade was one of the most well-documented events in the history of mankind. I Absolutely. just want to let you all know that. So. What's going on in the community, Black Son? You already know what it is. I, I, I already know you don't want to stand and fight with me on this issue right here. Man, let, me, let me say so. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not for any type of religion, period. Mm -hmm. I'm not for any type of spirituality, no type of none of that. You know, I'm a born atheist. My dad was atheist. Granddad was atheist. His dad was atheist. So mm -hmm. I see things from a physical point of view, logic. Mm -hmm. So, whether it be Christianity, Islam, or Scientology, it's all the same spookism to me. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, now, I know you banged on Farrakhan. Not yet. I'm about to. I, I know you're about to. So, I, I got I to gotta say this. All right. The views and expressions will not, does not affect Comcast and his staff or membership. And, uh, He's Farrakhan. Khan. That's his name. Oh, man. Okay. okay? He's right. conning black people. Right. And your hood pass has been revoked. You no longer can sell bean pies and newspapers with impunity. You just can't do it. You can't operate under those conditions. Why? Because, uh, uh, what, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, right. one of the statements he made, right, if you really look at it, was a good statement. He said, this is what he said. He said that the white man was the devil. Okay. He said that. And so... If you're a religious person, automatically come to mind a red guy with a pitchfork comes to your mind. That's right. That's, That's right. not what he was saying. He was saying, fundamentally speaking, okay, that from a perspective of not being able to change away from evil doings, that's where the white man fits. Okay. Meaning if you study history, okay, for when the first European entered into world history, which was very, 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 very late, we're talking about somewhere near the Greeks, Mm -hmm. Greek time, right. maybe 900 B.C., somewhere in that, right? Right. Okay, maybe not even that, okay? Their attitude towards humanity, right, has been destructive. That's just the truth. Right. Robbing, stealing, and killing, just based off of that. Now, um, some may say, now, you know, I'm king of the black atheists, so, you know, I got to represent some of the atheists that be on the, you know, pro-American, you know, pro-multiculturalism. not saying that I'm for it, mm. but they may make the argument that... that? Uh, all men are, you know, evil, and they might say that it's spookism to say that, you know, the Europeans, because he did things a certain way, and we weren't up on game with that way, now we screaming foul. Hmm. You Good know. point, Black. So we do understand human behavior, and through human behavior, humans do a lot of things. I, Black, I agree. white, Chinese, but that's not what we're talking about. Okay. We're saying that an African had developed a system, right, mm -hmm. to change their behaviors. Okay. Like, say I murdered you. Mm -hmm. Okay, a system was developed. Well, why did you murder him? Was it a reason behind that? Mm. Was it in uh, you were in protection of your family? Did you just out your mind, just do it? And so we developed rules and regulations and laws right, that govern the land against murder. Mm. And so you could actually see African cultures making mistakes, but you could see them turn away from their mistakes and do something different. They're, but so what you're saying is that they just evolved. They evolved, right? right. They, they, because we all we never judged people on the on their skin color. Let's get that straight. Okay. Never did that. We judged them on if you were civil or not. Right. You right. Go to the records of Sumeria, right? We were saying, yo, they out of order. They just uncivilized. Okay. You, you feel me? Right. And so what we're saying, based on the laws of the land, based on the laws of the land, and based off the laws of reproduction. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, which we're going to get into that in Black Atheists of uh, America, James Wynn. We're going we gonna to mention your book. Yeah, here, yeah go ahead. That book. Yeah. All right. And so what I'm saying is, if you study history, Europeans collectively show no turning back from what they've done. 
You get that? Mm, okay, okay. And, and, and that's why Elijah Muhammad said they was the devil, because the devil can't change. And they never show that they've changed. They will say they change, right, and do, do something different and change it. Because, like, slavery has become sophisticated now. But um, now, I, I, I want to make the argument for the European. Make that for them. You say that, you know, our people, you know, because we are definitely into behavior modification and changing. You know, sometimes we can get religious with that. Yeah. And so. And the being my, in the cult. Right, making it a cult, but we're going we gonna we to touch on that, cult, right. Cult busters, but the thing cult. is, if, if the European has the upper hand with economy and military and, you know, all kind of structures, why, why, why should they listen to us? No, you're right. They, why, why would they listen to us? That's the point. They're not supposed, it'd be unnatural for them to listen to us. And that's what we've been saying. It's an unnatural thing. Because they're doing, things, the they doing things for their advantage, for the, the, they the investment that they raise. Right. And, and, and you know what? Through the study of African culture, I understand that. Because I All know right. how nature works. You right, 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 right. And I see, that, and that's why I kind of disagree with some of our people saying that. Now, I've heard the argument that the European is unnatural to the world, but you have a lot of. I wouldn't agree to that. You wouldn't agree with that? No, I think they're just as natural as we are. Okay, I'm glad you said that. They I'm do a lot that. of unnatural things collectively to the planet, right? Okay. Like, it just don't make no sense to keep building a ship that's going to keep spilling oil. And it makes no sense to enslave animals at the zoo when bugler <laughs> whales down at the aquarium keep dying off and the dolphins, mm -hmm. and y'all keep getting more and more and more and more. You know, so, yeah, but that's a, a whole thing. Yeah, that is unnatural. It's a natural thing. Because, you know, in Africa, we didn't have zoos and aquariums. We didn't have that type of thing. We didn't have people locked in like that. No, nah, we just had animals just running around, you know? Matter of fact, you go to Africa now, they have, uh, what they call them, uh, large gang parks. Yeah, yeah. Where the, the, where, where the animals live in a natural environment. Right, where they see you with a guy with a tranquilized gun, and y'all walk in man by them. But they're him. not locked up, right? They're not locked up. Right. And, and so that's why Elijah Muhammad was calling them the devil, because the things that they do are so against nature repeatedly, okay? Now, you might find a white friend that you can have conversation with, and y'all cool. Right. And you might need some money, they might give you some money, or if your children are sick, they might help you. So I'm not saying individually right, that you don't right. find good white people, because maybe you do. And I can see that. Mm. But a dynamic seems to change when they come together. Have you uh -oh. noticed that? Uh oh, uh, and, and I'm glad you mentioned that because you know we, that we, we in the campaign year this year. This is the oh. <laughs> you know the DNC. You know they got I think the battleground states was is Ohio, Florida, and uh, Virginia. They did the polls on black men, black women, white men, white women, and you know the white women and white men they got Mick Romney's back. Only two percent of black men and black women got. Okay, um, got, it, it went from zero to 2%. So I, I guess uh, people like uh, Herman Cain, you know, they came in, hey man, hey, you know, hey, hey, you gotta count me, so they gave him a little 2%. Okay, well, so what you're saying is it's natural for you to look out for your own people. Right, 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 and we, we <laughs> you know. I don't know, have a problem with that. I do not have a European uh, choosing who he wants to choose for a job. I don't have a problem with that. Whether you think I'm more qualified or not, if you decide to choose your comrade, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Because okay, that's right. just something that you just might want to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to love your family first, then you might take care of other people first. And so I have not a problem with that. The problem is when we don't respond to that and have our own thing. Okay? Right. Okay? That's the, that, that's the problem that we don't do our thing. I agree with that. I, I agree because everything that we ridicule or, 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 or uh, complain, we should have something to back it up. I right, totally we complain is crazy. The white man did this, did that, the hell with that. Right. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, so this is what Brother Unk doing. Here's something for you real fast. Okay. Real quick. I ain't gonna read you the duck. <laughs> it says, this is, this is for you. You're in a cult. Figure out if you're in a cult. How would you answer uh -oh. this? Okay, if you get a check mark for this, you're in a cult. Uh -oh. It says the group displays, right, excessive jealous, right, and unquestioning commitment to its leader, and whether he is alive or dead, right, regards his belief system, ideology, and practices as the truth and as the law. Malachi uh -oh. York. Malachi York, okay. So sitting here today, I can say, let me stop, 
lean back in a chair because we don't get our chairs to vote. Oh, that's right. Sit up in a chair, man. That's right. Being listening, sitting in, sitting on the land, listening to the teachings, right? Some kind of way, it kind of ease on what you call behavior. Right. Because I would hear people say, "Well, he's never wrong." Right. 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 And all the doctrine was put together by him. Right. But of course, he had research team, right? Right. But he was the sole leader. And so these things lend itself to eventually turn into a cult. Right. And see, that's why I brought up uh, on the past show about centralized and decentralized government, because African people, we still operating on a centralized mind state, whether it be centralized leadership or centralized government. And, and so that's why they can overtake Africa, because they go in showing this thing they call democracy. You know what I'm saying? It works on all races of people because you're showing that instead of one person making that final decision, you have a group of people. You have a Senate, you have a Congress, you have uh, judicials, you know, you have more people. And so people more, it's just humanity to be more inclined to that. You know what I'm saying? Because they overthrow countries every day. Oh, they just, all you gotta do is go to the rebels. Hey, you guys need some democracy. Man, don't forget this dictatorship. You, you know what's deep though? Because, because that's based off of the African model. You know, democracy. The African had a model of democracy. It wasn't called democracy, but they had the model of having a council, mm -hmm. okay, where, where, where the council was the voice of the people, mm -hmm. meaning the work that the council did, the members in that council, right, they did the work for the people. Right. So it was the people's voice that they were expressing. Is that not what democracy is supposed to be? Right, absolutely. It's supposed yeah. to be based off of that, but now, it's not. Now, no, no, no. you know, democracy on paper, I agree with it. Yeah. But it's just, you know, and we talked about this too, um, it's the administration. The, w the way they administer the information, right. the way they put it out. Well, the well it's, it's, it's certain people who are in power that, I mean, like, you know, you talked about Mao Zedong, you know what I'm saying, where he killed all them people. Yeah, you know why the hell would I base mine on him? Right, 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 right. But, 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 but we st I, I, you know what I'm saying, we still don't demonize the economical system that he set up, you know what I'm saying, because people keep praising the economical structure that he has, but... I'm with you. I'm not for, you know, killing I think, about thousand million no, people. I, no, know? no. To be Mao Zedong, you got to kill a couple uh, couple million your own people. And I'm not, and, and I would not be with that. Uh, right. Adolf right. Hitler, neither. Okay? Right. I would Stalin, not be with Stalin. Stalin right. I would not be with none of that. And that's Barack why Obama. Always, no, right. That, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you going to put him in the same sentence. I mean, right you got the drones man. wiping people out, man. I mean, oh, I'm, I'm going to call on, a spade a spade. Man. No, I mean, I'm going to, hey, hey, I'm going to keep it real. I just heard his speech, man. I wanted to get up and vote. Oh, okay, okay. You I know what? I voted my okay. whole life. I heard him speech. I wanted to go vote. All right, man. All right. You Leave me what? alone for a minute, man. You okay, all right. All right. I go, you know what? Man, now I can't vote. You done put me back on the I ain't voting, period. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You know, and it, this is another thing, I ain't man. no voter, man. I can't do it, yo. You can't vote, man. I can't flim flam myself into thinking that's gonna do anything. I can't. No, vote. but hey, hey, but let, let, okay, let me say something in Brock's behalf. He did get the national deficit down to sixteen percent. It was at twenty seven with George Bush. No, I'm sorry, thirty forty seven. That's a, the that's national a big debt. Jump. He got it down to sixteen percent. Wow. That's a big jump. That's a big jump. And that's then jump. for my conscious black nationalist black power community, it's funny how. You had the Reagan administration, you had Bush Sr., you had Clinton, and you had uh, Borges Jr., which Mamiya sat on death row for all that administration, and Barack Obama's in office, and now he's off death row. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I, there's some things I got to look at, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, we talking about voting, you know, we go back to what system or what uh, application do we have to replace that? If we don't have nothing to replace it, we, we stuck in the sand. I there. said it already. I said voodoo replaces that. Oh, right? Oh, and I said that. Let me get, why, who, do you know who Zenu is? Zenu. Break it down. Break it down. What is your experience with Scientology? You was out in California. I was out in California. My What's experience with Scientology, you know, y'all, you know, I'm a young man, you know. Uh, 16 years old, you know, my parents looking at me like, yo, ninja, we ain't gonna get a job. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say ninja, but you know, that's just my street interpretation. But so, oh. you know, here's these white dudes coming in the neighborhood, three of them, all suited and booted up, and they talk about they offering jobs. So, you know, me and brother, I'm like, yo, okay, you know, I'm gonna go check it out. Turns out, you know, I go off Sunset Boulevard, where their main office is in uh, Upper Hollywood, and um, they talk about, you know, 
how the their job is basically, yeah, they're, they're offering food and they offer shelter. They offer, their, their job is basically being part of that uh, organization. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, me, I'm mad. I'm like, man, I thought this was about goddamn, you know, some payola. But the end of, so you're saying at the end of the day, because although they was helping you, they're trying to ease you into their thing. Yeah, they're trying to ease you into their thing. You know, me being a born atheist, I'm not down with no type of religion, whether it be religious black folks, religious white folks, religious of any type of human being. I'm not down with religion, behavior modification. Not down with that at all. But behavior yeah, so I was a little upset. Okay, so here's my point. The whole nation of Islam was based off of the white man was the devil. Okay. okay the reason he said that was because he was saying that on a whole, collectively, they never turn away from what they do. They right. just can't do it. And that's just been proven. Okay? okay? And so now, if it's 2012, right, and you're in the nation of Islam, and you're for a con, because he's conning people, he, you know, that's what John Henry Clark said. Okay. Okay? And you're now joining forces with Scientology. Mm. You feel me? I'm saying, like, like, like what part of that? Okay? Mm -hmm. And so... They're talking about terms like auditing. Real fast. What is auditing? Okay, break it down. Okay? Because cause for, for a con and the boy saying, yeah, they're getting audited. And they use certain tools for auditing. Let me show you the tool they use for auditing. Okay. Real quick. Hold on. All right. And we're going to have a call in. We're going to put that number up so y'all can uh, chime in on this conversation. Mm hmm Right. Y'all get a quick shot Which on that. Which is us. 770 559 Y'all get a close-up on that right there. That's called the X meter. Zoom shot on that. It's an X meter. Okay? I don't know if y'all can see that now. I don't know if they zoomed in on that or not. Okay, see, that's an X meter. Look at that. That's called Tom Foolery. It's supposed to measure certain things about you that can tell you things so they can use it to help better your lives. This is what they're selling in Scientology. It costs about $4,000. And what they do, they train people to audit. So Farrakhan is telling his people to get audited. What is auditing? I'm going to get to it real quick. It says auditing, right, deletes life's painful expressions and addresses and improves one's ability to confront and handle the factors of life. Wait a minute. So if you get audited, it's going to delete your painful experiences? But uh, you, you, you're talking about a man, and, and let, me, let me say this, because I, I, I love Farrakhan. I'm going to just say that for the record. Oh, I can't love Farrakhan. You know he's done. That? But, however. He's kicked out the house. He's spooked, he's spooked out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of our people are spooked out. And you're talking about, you, you're trying to reason. I know I'm not reasoning. I'm, not, I'm, not I'm showing you, I'm no, showing no, no, you no, how no. he's conning people. And I'm showing you how he's, he's, he's trying now, to Now, is delete. he conning people or does he believe that too? Maybe, I mean. I'll get to the point now. Okay. Hold on. All right, go and ahead. so let's talk about how unnatural it is to delete, okay, okay, your painful experiences. Your painful experiences help you govern your life later on. Mm -hmm. So it's unnatural to erase all your bad experiences. Right. All right, just like it would be unnatural to erase all your good experience. Or it's, it's not natural to walk around with all happy experience, like the, everything is love. Right. We've seen it with the Moonies and all that. Right. The Jehovah Witnesses. Right. You know, it's just a bunch of nonsense because that's not how the world is. Heaven's gates. Heaven's gates, right? In They'll California. run you into a whole, right, okay? So the key is, from an African experience, is to balance these ideas and concepts. Right. You must have a balance in because it's very important, right, to remember some of the pain, like the pain that the Africans went through in the slave trade. If you erase that, then what do we fight for? And then it can happen to you again. It's like an addict mm. being on drugs. If you erase all his painful experiences on drugs, what are you going to do? He's going to go right. back to drugs. So if you allow Farrakhan into our community, he's going to erase all of our so-called bad experiences that we had in North America, and then we're walking around ready to get what again? Ready to get turned out again, because we have no bad experiences to look at. Well, again, but see, Farrakhan and the people that follow Farrakhan, Farrakhan. Just the people that follow uh, Eddie Long and all the religious leaders, they suffer from centralized leadership, just like the people who follow Dr. York, you know. They suffer from centralized leadership. You know what I'm saying? We must operate from a decentralized because I'm telling you, in 2012, centralized leadership, centralized government is dead. Hmm. I think, and I can prove it by the countries that have been overthrown. You know, they're overthrowing countries every single day. 
centralized government does not work for so humanity. So what you saying work? I, I, you know I'm, I mean, I'm so saying say on work. paper, and then you just said it comes from African people. I'm saying what they call democracy is what worked. That, that's, that's the only thing I see working because they're, mm -hmm. they're using it to destabilize countries every day. Back to Farrakhan, because okay. I'm banging on you. I got no love for Farrakhan, right, because he's taking out people down a hole of no return. He's selling out for Scientology. Now, Farrakhan is not stupid. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about this machine called the X-Meter that they use in Scientology. That's why he's a con, okay? Now, on their own official website, Scientology, look it up. It says, what is an a E-meter, right, and how does it work? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to read all that, but it starts out right here. It says, in itself, the E-meter does nothing. Okay. What? Wait a minute. In itself, the E-meter does nothing? Then it goes on to say, it is an electronic instrument that measures mental state and change in state of individuals and assists. And wait a minute. You just said it does nothing. Right. So then how does Farrakhan lie to our people, hook them up to X meters or E meters, right, and sell them that bill of goods? But again, you're talking about spookism, huh? Man, that's so past spookism. You, you, you keep saying that. That's past spookism. Farrakhan is smart. You're saying Farrakhan is smart. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, let's look at Scientology. Let's look at Islam. You're still selling people this ideology of some mm. Allah in the good, sky. Ooh, and good point. Far out fighting our battles. And same with Christians. They believe in some Jesus coming down and, you know, going to save us and save all the single black women in the dang churches and give them husbands and all that. I mean, it's the same fairy tale story. So if you got them already believing in the whole already mm. with spookism, mm. Mm. you show them wow. another form of spookism, wow. they're they already go. in the dang hole. They already in the hole, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Wow. Spookism, no matter how you paint it, whether it come from black people or white people, it's still the same fairy tale. So now you know. Now you understand the importance of black atheism. I, I do, but but see, I, but, it, but see, I, uh, I, but let I, me say this. I, 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 okay, go ahead, man. I'm just saying I can't see the importance of that, though. I, I do see the importance, but I said I can't. Now you said Farrakhan is smart. I'm saying Farrakhan suffers from delusion believing in some type of Allah. Anybody that believes in a God and they can't prove God is delusional. Like, a friend told me, you know, Pam, and I'm, I'm going to invite her on the show one day. No, she said not. that people <laughs> for years and years have not disproven God. I've done it, but I'm going to do it again. If there's a God, lift up this pen. Lift up the pen. Boom! There's no God. I just proved there's no God. But they say God can do all things, right? There's no God. So at the end of the day, until you can prove this God, you're delusional. Oh, man. From my standpoint, you know. I have a document right here, right? Uh, Signed Child's Court Files. United States of America, okay, versus uh, L. Ron Hubbard uh, electrometer. Okay, they took him to court for the device. Mm -hmm. They made him uh, relabel the device as being a religious device. Right. I mean, it has absolutely no power, doesn't work, but it's a religious device. Right. Okay? And so we understand that Farrakhan's not stupid, right? So this was a money business deal. But hold that he put on. them black people on that Dianetics nonsense. Oh. So you're right. Again. He don't believe that. He does not believe that black. You're right. But it's the but he money mean, he went after. So he sold out <sighs> people, right? Look, he sold out I, people down the river, black. Right? Like you always been making some good arguments, you know what I'm saying? Again, all I'm what saying in the argument, no, no. Oh, about the uh, point about the spookism part allowed that? That's what you're talking about? Right. I'm saying that Farrakhan, now the only disagreement that we're having, I'm saying that he's not doing it deliberate. In his mind, as long as you got a religious mindset, he can read stuff the like that is not, they ignore that. <laughs> he can, wait, that's Farrakhan. They, no, no, no. Religious people, period. Oh, they man. ignore simple yeah. logic. Yeah. Come okay. On, huh? okay, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. So then we can I agree. just said that okay. the God did not lift up this pen. Okay, okay. That's logic. That's hold science. On. So we can agree. Oh, but this. you gotta believe though. Believe belief requires no proof or no evidence. That is what uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, believing is based on no proof, no evidence. So tell me that's illogical to begin with. So Farrakhan operates on so, that. So what you're basically saying is, and I've always said this, that's okay. why, so now you know why I bang on religion. So stop, stop, on, stop not wanting me to bang on religion like that then. No, no, Worrying no, no, about no. what the community think. So, so what I'm saying is, Islam was ill-equipped, okay, to handle the pressures of Scientology when it came around. It was no governing mechanism in there that stopped people to say, wait a minute, that makes no sense. Right, but let me Islam see. Islam did, like you said, it transferred them from one 
spooked out idea of religion right. to a total wideerized spooked out idea That's based right. off of the total writings like Dianetics of L. Rod Hubbard, who was a racist on top of that. So you took me from Islam, which murdered and raped African people, right? Oh. Hold on. And okay. you ended me back up into Scientology, right, where he was okay. a clear racist. Okay, but let me let me see. Really with that. I, I, well, well, I'm at to disagree with you. What you Actually, on? what point are you disagree on? No, 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 no. L. Ron Hubbard. I'm gonna he tell you, he, he might have been a rape, but he was a smart racist. Okay. Because remember, <laughs> he came from the Mormon <laughs> Church. The Mormon Church did. See, he figured out before the Mormons did that that you know the Mormons didn't allow Hispanic and Black people. Right. So he came out with his own version. He tweaked it and came out with Scientology, mm -hmm. allowing Black people and Hispanics to come in. So he might have been racist, but he was a smart racist. You know what I'm saying? Because he saw he where the money was at. And, right. and L. Ron Hubbard, he supported apartheid in South Africa. Okay. Got the documents right here. All right. Okay, we, we, he, we, we, he aligned itself with the government. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, he agreed to shipping people out to cities and putting them in the, in the country land. Remember how they, mm -hmm. what, what, was that, what was that process called? Oh, that was, uh. When you take them out to the city, you make a move. Um, oh, um, man. You know what I'm talking about. Hold on, I can get the exact. Okay, okay. But the point I'm making, and we, let me get that phone number on the, uh, get that call in. 770-559-2999, um, y'all get some of this. Okay, um, so again, people are going to argue about, you know, what Farrakhan's done for the community, you know, the nation of Islam, you know, the, brought us brother Malcolm, brought us Khalid Mohammed, which, you know what I'm saying, uh, but the religion, I agree, the religion is no good. You know what I'm saying? But I, I mean, like I said, I don't have nothing against Farrakhan as a person. I don't agree with his ideologies, but I do. Uh, have Malcolm killed? Well, we don't ever see. Uh, right? Uh, Think uh, about come that. On, man. We, come on, man. Uh, no, are you trying to say uh, he didn't? He said it himself. He, he said, said he was he responsible for he was creating the environment to kill Malcolm. He said that out of uh, but it, I but believe a, a heckler can create an atmosphere. Come on. Uh -huh. A heckler can create an atmosphere. Like, you go to the games. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Somebody you know you fouled. You know, you, right, and that's true. You know, if right, you start, right, you better say that you start a riot and everybody right, run. Right. You can go to jail for that. Right, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's an actual fire. But we can arrest you for causing, causing and that. yelling and saying for so fire. So Farrakhan created the atmosphere. Right. He never admitted it because he'd be in jail right now. No, he said that. Yo, he said, I apologize. You can go you YouTube that. No, create, all right, he said, no, Uncle. He said he, he killed said, nobody. He said, right, he created he said the he atmosphere. He apologized for creating that atmosphere. I mean, you got a, religion, a lot of religious zealots What about Kyle Muhammad? You're a nationalist. What about Kyle Muhammad? Well, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. He threw them out. They throw all the best leaders out of the nation. They threw them out. They threw them out what because... What did he do wrong? What did he do wrong? Khalid, Khalid Muhammad and Malcolm X started to see things from a black nationalist point of view. Uh, okay. Now, black nationalism and Islam, they don't coincide. It's just like Christianity and black nationalism don't coincide. You know what I'm saying? Because Christianity submits itself to white supremacy. It's just like Hebrew Israelites the, 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 uh, submit themselves to the Hebrews and the Jews and Islam to the Arabs, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Okay. It promotes, it's, it's, a, it's a promoting wing that leads to somebody's nationalism, and it's not black nationalism. Mm -hmm. And so that's why Brother Khalid was kicked out, that's why Brother Malcolm was kicked out. Mm -hmm. And so that's why people who are black nationalists would listen to Malcolm X, you know what I'm saying, and agree with Malcolm X and agree with Khaled Muhammad and not agree with Farrakhan and not agree with Elijah Muhammad because they see the religiosity of it, you know what I'm saying, because let's not forget, in the 60s you had a lot of black nationalists that were atheists. A lot of them. Mukasa, he, he, he gave the list, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did. Yeah. For so, settlement, that's the term. Okay, for, for oh yeah, that's where. Yeah, yeah, for settlement, right? And so right. Alvaro Hubbard, he he supported that. As a matter of fact, right here, it tell, in one of the letters he wrote to the, to, to the then Prime Minister and also the Admiral of the South African Navy, right, he concludes, you ask for a strong orgs in South Africa. That's what they call a church, an org, mm -hmm. okay? You will get them, and there will be a friendly reciprocity of flow with the government. Okay. See, see so you're talking about now you putting people in an organization with a guy who supported apartheid to make black people separate, to throw them out their land. You agree? And then later on in 2012, that's supposed to be cool? See, I don't know what you fight for, bruh. I fight for my community being self-sufficient, and I refuse to allow 
right? Another religion in my community, because that's what I do. Right. I fight religion. And right now I'm about to fight for these uh, phone calls to come in, because I noticed the number hasn't been placed on the screen, maybe because we didn't test them phones. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because we didn't touch them phones. Well, you was crazy. I don't see no phone number on here because this is a call in show. No callers because we ain't got no phone number. 770 They got to see a phone number in order to call in. So, okay, go ahead. So, okay. And you so, know, I had to go there, right? And so, Farah Khan, right, and Toby Muhammad, okay, they both have sold us out. And we know that now firm members of Scientology. We understand that. They're now deeply rooted in our community, promoting that Tom food. They could have just as easily, right, sent black people to a traditional African spiritual system. Because the key in this whole thing here, they're talking about healing black people. That's why they put them in Scientology, right? But you already have the mindset of Islam, uh, Brother Um. But that's not my point. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying is they could have sent people to the Dogon system. But the Islam don't teach that. Remember, Islam promotes Does Islam their teach nationalism. The, the go to Scientology neither, though, right? It don't teach that. Uh, Islam does. Islam. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, What'd you say? Islam. No, I mean, Islam, Islam. well, here's, here's Farrakhan's argument. What he states that, you know, we have people who go to the universities, they get their degrees, and, you know, their professors are white. So that he doesn't restrict himself when it comes to knowledge. And so he's seeking knowledge. You know, knowledge is not something that's, uh, that he said that I guess one race has a monopoly on. And so he, what he's saying is that he's seeking knowledge from all areas. So that was his argument. I, I heard him. And it exactly was, uh, it was a dumb argument, okay? We're not saying that knowledge is restricted. What we're saying is if the fundamental reason for you, don't cut me off, black. I'm listening, listening, I'm listening. If the fundamental reason for you turning black people over for Scientology is for them to understand they self, right? Mm -hmm. then you would have to take it back to the originators of the thought processes of self because all African cosmology was based off of man, woman, know thyself. Key word in this, in this equation, voodoo. Break the word down for you real fast, okay? It's a Dahomey word, and Dahomey word voodoo means genius mm -hmm. or spirits or gods, oh, right? Man. Hold on. Now, Ooh, Don't cut me off. I ain't gonna cut you off. The vu means an interperspection look within self. Okay. Vu, interperception, mm -hmm. meaning a look within self. Do means mystery. Mm -hmm. Life is a mystery. Okay? So when you voodoo, you're taking an a interpsychological look within self, and mm -hmm. once you understand self, you start to unravel the mysteries, which is life. And mm -hmm. when you unravel the mysteries, which is life, you become a genius. Mm -hmm. You get that? Okay. Then you start to build the first civilizations on the planet. You start to develop reading, writing, mathematics, science. You respect the sisterhood that gave birth to the workforce that built the first nations on earth when you start to take an interlook within self. And so the African social spiritual voodoo science mathematics system, right, was developed so you can understand yourself within the world and how to operate on those principles. So then why would you take it to Scientology when all he did was, guess what he did, yo? He went back and looked at some black civilizations okay. and copied some information and got you running that comic book characters like Xenu and Theons, mm -hmm. Theatons, who come to Earth and incarnate in people's bodies. That's crazy, black. I mean, well, What's crazy to me is that you have uh, Farrakhan, you said, going back into our history. And, and, and my thing is, you know, and, you know, I always, always, you know, you talk about what I fight for. I fight for black nationalism, you know, which is, as Malcolm say, a self-help program. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And some might argue that, you know, the past cultures or the past voodoo, as you say, didn't work because we end up on slave ships. Thank you. Can I talk about that, black? Sure. And he's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Do you know why the system didn't work at that time? Why is that? You had invasions starting back at or maybe, maybe around 3000 BC, you got a load of invasions coming in, Asiatic people coming in Africa. Mm -hmm. So they get the unification war when they chase these people out, right? Okay. Then you have the Hiscos, 1700 BC, they right. invade, right? Okay. Then you got another invasion, you got the Assyrians invade in mm -hmm. Africa, right? You got, you know, you got the Syrians, then you got the Persians right. invading in Africa, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Totally 
disorganized African people, right? right? Then you got your Greeks come in and replace the Persians. Mm -hmm. Then after the Persians, right, after the Greeks, then you have your Romans, mm -hmm. right? So by now, then you got these Greeks, Roman, Persians, they all practice slavery mm -hmm. on African people, right? right? And so we're disgruntled, right? We're disorganized. They're destroying African ideas and concepts, right? Right. Then you got the Muslims that come in, right. okay, around 600, no, 6 AD. And they enslaved African minds and African people for 800 years. This is prior to the European slave, sh slave trade. Right. And then so we knocked out on the ground, knocked out, and then the real monsters come in. And they come in and enslave people from when? 1400s all the way up to 1800s, all the way up to 2012. And so you're asking, well, why didn't voodoo work? Well, voodoo is not magic. Mm -hmm. Voodoo has to be reworked, meaning, meaning the only system that can be, worked on the, can be reworked on the planet is the African system. You can't rework Islam, Christianity, or Judaism, because the book is the book. Jesus is Jesus. You can't now give Jesus a wife. You can't change the ideas and concepts around Christianity, but you can change your viewpoints and your ideas around traditional African systems. So now we're in America now, right? And they're still on our backs, but not like that. It is a lot of things we can do. We can start to enact change in our lives. We can start working together with certain ideas and concepts. We can stop giving away a billion dollars, black son. And so that's reworking the voodoo. You can add and subtract away from a natural system because that's how nature works, brother. If you put too much oil in the water, eventually nature will clean it up, right or wrong? Right, but it's a more, we live in a more complex system because you talk about ancient What's civilizations. It's more complex than nature, brother. It, it's complicated because the human mind, the way the human mind works is that when you see, when you have A over here and then B looks better, B is more advanced, like, I don't know, let's just look at the Mac and the PC, I don't know, I'm just using Let's examples. talk about the Mac and the PC. Okay, but, but, but the point that I'm making about the black is that, that. Let's talk is about that, that we have a more advanced system, so those ancient uh, moral and ethical principle systems will not work today, especially when we're behind the hills of North America. Because, like I said, look at who controls the Congo. Look at who controls uh, uh, the technology. Look at who controls the uh, information. Look who controls the media. Look who controls the clothes making. Look who controls the medicines. I mean, hell, Monsanto, they, they, they wiping out all the seeds. Look who controls the food sources. Look who controls the education. So realistically, you know. Couldn't make an adjustment. We, huh? we, we, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. The civilizations of Egypt, of Kemet, of thousands of years ago didn't deal with the technologies that we're dealing with now, like drones that they're going to put, implement in the black neighbor and white neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? They didn't, they didn't yes, they deal did with black. the uh, in drones? Black. I can show you. Hold on. You can go to. Uh, okay, but, okay, hold on, hold on. You can not go only to uh, drones, by Mark Vanell's book. Okay, but that, that, that's on, one. That's one. Me, hold on for a minute. They show okay. you an actual picture of a glider. Okay, you know that's what I'm fine. talking about? I, I this know is what you're the saying. technology that later on became drones. So the okay, most technically fine. sound civilization on the planet was African systems. So our whole thing was based off of ec economics and technology. Okay, okay, let, let, let me, let me, let me. So what makes you think that we okay. wouldn't move our minds up to the next level? Okay, and okay. To, are you serious? That, I'm, I'm serious. Let me go to, let me go to the Who next phase. Who the internet, bro? Okay, but you interrupt me. Another point that I'm making, let's look at how the African system is going to defeat somebody like Monsanto, who controls the seeds. You're talking about big corporations, and we can't even plant certain things in certain soil. So let me see. So what do you think, Black? What do you think? How would you, how would you handle that? How would I handle that? Yeah, how would you handle that? <laughs> Give me your voodoo. Uh, I don't see. I don't, I don't see. See, but how would you that. handle that? How would I handle yeah, that? Yeah, Give me your inward look on how you would solve that problem, Black well, man. It, it's, it's one step is to organize on a worldwide, not a, not a, not, well, let me say worldwide, because these people have dominated worldwide. Monsanto mm -hmm. is worldwide. Okay. Okay. And they have patented the seeds worldwide. Okay. And so we're looking at somebody who is controlling our food, your children's food right now. You know what I'm what, saying? What's your plan? Number right. two, I'm, I'm, well, let me, I gotta lay out all the problems first before I, I have a plan. I'm laying out all the, we gotta deal with it on many levels. Like I said, the food is number one. They patented all the seeds. We got number that. two, they got the military industrial complex. So they got all type of high technology weapons all we're just talking about over the seed. We're just, we're just the talking planet. about the corporation in the sea right now. I want to see, do you have an idea to stop that? The corporations in the seas right now. Do you, well, have, a, do you have an idea to stop that black at all? 
Well, you may not agree with this, Unc, but we would have to uh, unite with like minds, that meaning people outside of our race, believe it or not, because I don't think we, we don't have, what was wrong with that? I never said, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I study history and and, uh, no no civilization lives in a damn bubble by itself. Okay, I'm glad, okay. That's crazy. I'm glad. That's not African to say, I'm not messing with these people. Okay. What are you talking about? Okay, so, so worldwide, we have to unite with like minds, meaning, if they're even if they're Chinese, if they're Mexicans, you know, Native Americans, black, whatever, even okay. white people, we have to unite on a common cause saying, look, man, we do not want genetically modified foods. Which and they so don't have, have in to, Europe. Am I correct in that? They don't use that in Europe, right? Yeah, they, yeah you're right. Thank you're right. you. So right. you're going to tell me that if Europe can do it, that, that we couldn't do that? I agree. We couldn't make that adjustment? That was my whole point. Right. Of course, black people always make adjustments. Are you serious? Nature, we mimic nature, and nature makes adjustments, black. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So that's my point. Oh, uh, right, right. And see, see, people, and I'm, I know we're going, you know, probably hear it from the comments, but the solution, black people, we do not have enough numbers in North America to make certain movements happen. You know what I'm saying? You know? So we might have to. Now, I'm not saying uh, have the European at the helm. I'm saying, you hell, think it's no about numbers I'm or saying, money? I think it's about numbers. I think it's about money because money. I mean, talking, money, it, it does. It does. Talk. Why? Because money, money walk. I mean, money. Mm, say, money say it, talk. Say it right? again so they and know. Bullshit it. walk. Bullshit. Okay, bullshit. He said bullshit. Okay, yeah, I say bullshit. Well, I'll say well, what I'm saying Uncle, is that money. We spend a couple trillion dollars annually. We give money away. Okay, but but we but, give it away. But, but we give is, our power away freely and right. ask for nothing in return. What are but you talking about? Day, it's about money, right? At the here. end of the day, economics. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. those money are guarded by resources in the Congo, in Libya, in uh, Mozambique. We, we talking about here in the United States. You say here we don't have United enough numbers. States. Here right, it's about United money. States. It's about money. The money is controlled. The resources that control the money, because money has to be backed by resources. By gold, they don't even do right. that no more. Gold, oil, and diamonds. I always say the real. Oh, we got a caller. Caller. Right, that's what you're trying caller. to tell you. You kept going. I tried. Caller. Yeah. Okay, where we going? Just bring the caller in. Yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, how you doing, uh, Black? Hey, how you doing? Hey. What's going yeah, on? Uh, my, I'm, I'm a minister, man. Uh, you know, I was, I was listening to you. I, I'd be checking y'all brothers out. Uh, I just just want to find out why. No, you ain't stressing me out. No, you're not. Uh, Say that one more time. No, I'm sorry. no, no. I, I, I watch y'all brothers every, uh, every Sunday, man. So. All right. Thank you, brother. Okay, I think he just said. Uh, right, well, uh, what would you define a Christian? How would you define a Christian? Um, well, me and Unc, we, I think we got some of takes on that. He said, well, "How do we define a Christian?" I define a Christian as a person who believes in a spook God that they can't prove to a person who don't believe in God like myself. So I know that you believe in Jesus and uh, being the Son okay, of God. Let and me God. Ch- I don't. Hold on, let me get my text and pick who you answer. Hold on, let me get my text. I define a Christian as a person who refused to take a look at the original philosophical thought of African people, specifically if you're African. If you're African and you're a Christian, you refuse to look at the things that predate Christianity. So I look at you as being scared, scared to know what the real truth is. And I would have to agree with Uncle Nettle. Yes. I no, no, bro. Okay. That's why I said a Christian's one who believes in a spook God. No, you believe okay, in a spook God, do you not? Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I brought up as a Christian. Now, if you can, you can prove that the Bible is wrong. Oh man. Go ahead, um. Go ahead. How we, could you prove it? Very simple. When was the document written? Do you know? No, I don't know exactly. Yet. Well, there you go. It just it seems the way I believe in the Bible is uh, through faith. Right. Right. Okay. Here, here, here's, here's the problem. And you need to study African philosophical thought for a minute. Here's the problem. It's a natural thing to have a belief system. You know, that's part. If you study psychology in the brain, they'll tell you that, that believing is important. Having faith is also important. Right? But first you have to believe, and faith mm-hmm. makes you walk towards that which you believe. But once you get to the thing you believe, you no longer have to believe. You know. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And so Christianity never allows you to leave the state of belief uh-huh. and faith. 
African system allows you to believe, to have faith, and to know. Once you know, you don't have to have faith or believe. That's the fundamental difference, brother. You, you have faith in the Bible, you believe in it, right? But you don't have faith to walk towards your truth where you would now know that that's a bunch of nonsense that Bible is. It's just a book, sir. And it's not even the oldest book, nor the first book. It's a book. That's right. Uh, uh, sir, 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 uh, sir. Now, <laughs> Black, I will listen to Black when he say, if I can prove this to God, pick up that pen. Do he know that God is in his nostrils? God is in my nostril. Okay, let me pick him out. <laughs> yeah, huh? Yes, he God is, because the reason why I say that. I don't see it. You don't see God? I don't see it. Right I see there. a nostril. Right there. Wait a minute. God, what, damn it. Oh, what, God right there in my nostril. What, is it define, what, what do you define oh. as God, sir? Okay. Got see, call. God, God is in you, bro. Oh, I agree God with you. Look, y'all. brother, we got, we got another, another caller. We got another caller. Yeah. Make you. Hold on. Make sure you call me next week. We'll talk about God being in you. We yeah. can talk about that. We got you. You got another caller, brother. Hey, I want you to send me some of them books you got, man. Oh, now you want to read send some of these books. Send me a couple of them books you got. Just read the Bible, man. <laughs> no, don't tell him that. I'm God <laughs> damn. You you, I, I want to see what you talking about. Okay, I, I'm playing, brother. True. I got you, brother, but, but, but the, the books I got ain't free. You have to pay for it. So you have to make a donation. We All right, got thank you, Carl. We got to get this thank next you. caller. We got you. Call, call back next call week. Call back next week. appreciate you. Thank you. Next caller, please. Hi. How you doing, sis? How you doing, sis? Yeah, I agree with the man that called in. Okay. And, uh, you know, and it's bad to give wrong information. Number one, the Bible is the oldest book. And number two, faith. Faith brings hope. And you have so many examples of Faith, people praying for healing to God. Christians praying, praying for healing to God. Getting their healing, getting their prayers answered. What God do you pray to? Uh, um, my mother, my grandmother, my great great grandmother, my great 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 grandmother, and my great 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 grandmother. What did you say? Did you hear me, sis? I honor and I respect my yes. ancestors because I am a living example of my ancestors. I am the return of the great ancestors. Okay? Now, your statement that the Bible was the oldest book, like, what do you determine? Do you not realize the Bible wasn't even in book form? It was in scrolls, manuscripts, on bones and tablets. It never was in book form. You have to have a binding to have a book form. What do you mean the Bible was the like oldest book, sis? Just like everything else was on papyrus, written on papyrus, because we didn't have writing, we didn't have the pencil, so we used papyrus and other means. She said the papyrus. Know that? All your books were started with papyrus. Say it again. Say that word again. What's the word? Papyrus. Papyrus. Right. It's Paper. A from the tree. Hold on. Papyrus. Paper. Yes, that's where your books came from. Hold on. Hold on. It it's was a papyrus. not written. We didn't have writing at that time. Sis, hold on. Hold on. You said, you said the records. You said papyrus. Records. Sun records. You're talking about the records in the city of the sun. You're talking about Heliopolis. It's the city of the sun where the records were written on papyrus paper. That's in no, Africa, sis. No, 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 sis. no, you're wrong. See, papyrus you're is studied out, in Africa. Sir, you're giving out wrong information. It, it is. It's an Egyptian. You can Google papyrus. It's in Africa. Damn. Damn it. And they were written what? No, it's not a tree. No, it's a reed. Sis, hold on. Give hold on. out good information and... Um, you know, I know your mind is made up, but no, you know, my if you mind can is not made up, sis. Miracles says. that your God has performed. Uh uh. Wait, sis. Sister, sister, maybe you could. I, I don't believe in no God, but uh, thank my you for calling. Up. I don't believe how I get through my problems. I think them through, but. Thank you for calling. You, you know, she, you know she made an incorrect statement saying the Bible is the oldest book. You, you know, know what's interesting? You know what's interesting about what she's talking about? She said we didn't have writing. Who do we? You talking about Hebrews? You're talking about a group of go holders, go holders, sis. They was goat herders. Mm -hmm. They had no reading, they had no writing, they had no institutions of learning to even know how to write. And so fundamentally speaking, Hebrew comes out of old Hebrew. So Hebrew documents maybe 500 BC, comes out of old Hebrew 900 BC, comes out of the Phoenician script. 1100, okay, comes out of proto Sinetic, okay, 1900, okay, which comes out of 
the Egyptian scripts, which had three scripts, hieratic, seretic, and demonic, which is the curse of script. And so the Hebrew that you're looking at in the Babel, right, comes out of a traditional African writing system that takes you back to 60,000 BC, right, when they was writing on caves and they was enacting voodoo ceremonies to the sisterhood. So you don't know what you're talking about, sis. Get studied up. Next yeah, time you call in. Definitely going to have to get studied. The up. oldest book. Did she say yeah, that? Yeah, she said the oldest book. So we're going to have to wrap wow, it up. Yeah, that, wow. that, you Maybe know, people, show that one day, sis. Right. And, and like I That's said, at the truth. end of the day, Christianity. King James? King one back James. then? Yeah, I know. At the end of the day, <laughs> Christianity's foundation is faith. Based. Based. Not which knowing. Which requires no evidence. Oh, we got another caller. Let me get, we're going to take this last caller. Caller. Man. Caller. You on? Hello? Yes, yes. Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi. I just want... Okay. I think that you really don't know what the, you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm a, I'm, I'm a product of a God-fearing woman. That I mean, everything that... That is God? going on in my life right now. If you it wasn't that? for the man upstairs, the Lord, my God, Jesus, I would not be here. And I should know because I was on the street. I was homeless. I was on drugs. And the only person, the only thing that ever saved me from it was the Lord above. Wow. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Do you mind me asking you a question? Can and I, I don't think, yeah. Are you a sister? Huh? No, I'm not a sister. Right, so you're right. That is I your mean, God. I don't know what you you're mean right. by that. That is your God. You're right. Do you know how old your God is? Your God dates back to maybe, maybe 2000 even. Maybe. The Hebrews didn't have a God before 1700 BC. They wasn't reading, they wasn't writing. So the Hebrew God that later on became the Christian God, that later on became the Muslim God, wasn't even around when African people was doing their thing, chilling with their voodoo, loving each other, caring for each other, practicing laws, customs and traditions, Excuse reading, me. writing, mathematics, building pyramids. So I understand where you're at. You're right, Excuse you probably need to pray to that. I get that. Excuse me. Okay. Man, I love man. I love the callers. Hey, y'all got hey, to, we hey, gotta you know wrap what? it up. You know what? I'm gonna but do something. Love. I'm gonna do something that's gonna rock Next your foundation week. for a minute. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna rock a foundation for a minute. The God you pray to on the Bible is the black man and the black woman. We are the Elohims. Uh, you got a trip. With that, boy, she ain't know she's been playing yeah. black people all yeah, that time. Yeah, next week, hey, call us. We got the, y'all got the terrible. callback next. I love the callers. Playing the black call people all that time. Next week, <laughs> same time, same channel. We got them up. Boy. We've been praying to black people all that time. Exactly, man, exactly. Black yeah, because we was God when yeah. they seen us, when we had yeah. those great pyramids. Oh, oh, and she said, if it well, wasn't, wasn't for God, let me, let me say this, that uh, they would, okay, we, we got to go. Bye, y'all. Peace out. Lucky. People of religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Setting myself right out of the pool. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. Make us believe, black atheists, black atheists. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Studying myself right out of the black atheists, right out of the black atheists. People made up religion. God is the star of the show.